Now, if you like me and you like your tech, this is something you're definitely going to want in your setup. Polo Light have sent me out a product that I'm ecstatic for. I've, I've been looking at this for ages and I'm so excited to actually have it in my office, in my setup. This is the Colo Play. Now, what this thing does, it's similar to like a stream deck. It's got a few other variants to what it does in total. It is a macro key thing. That's, that's the best way of explaining it. It's a thing. Let's go over the box first. We'll move the Colo Play one side. The box itself, very orange. And, you know, it's got this nice sunset vibe to it. I do like the box. I'm not going to lie. It's a very simplistic but yet elegant looking box. It's got exactly what you want to know on the box itself by showing a detailed photo of the item inside. And then on the back, it tells you a little bit about it. So let's read it. On the back, it says PC on. Now, what that means is you can actually control this to turn on your PC, which I think is awesome. I haven't got that feature set up because I believe there is something on your motherboard that you might need and I don't have it that unfortunately I can't use but still nonetheless it's a piece of tech that I love it's got a sub screen which is the little screen inside the dial we'll get into that RGB control and shortcuts so that's the box itself so let's open the box and show you what it sort of looked like on the unboxing and this product actually received the CES rewards in 2023 which you know that's a big deal that's a big deal so congrats on that Colo Light smashing it as always now opening the box it comes in this little sleeve just pull that off and then you've got a nice sort of engraved colo play on the front there and then you just shimmy that box out there as i as many i love stickers that come with stuff this came with some insane stickers i mean how cool are they i will find you praise the sun light for passion gamers never sleep level up nothing is true everything is permitted danger little robots there as well love it Love it. Little Colo Light logo. Then inside the box, you get this sort of little manual here just to tell you how to set it up and get it started. You can also scan the QR code to get sort of more information. In here will be the USB-C to USB cable. And then that is literally where the Colo Play sat. Obviously, I've done the unboxing already. Because it's been on my desk now for a couple of days, I've had a chance to test it out and see what functionality is actually like and what I don't like about this. Now, this is the Colo Play itself. As you can see, it's very simplistic, very sleek. It does sit on the desk nicely. It's heavy. God damn. If you ever run out of power, you know, you can't use it. Use it as a paperweight because this thing, my God, will hold down heaven and earth. It is heavy. So let's start with the build quality. Now, I believe this big part here is a very durable plastic, but it's got this nice matte finish that gives it like this sort of metal feel. Because it's so heavy, I feel like this bottom base here is made out of a very high grade metal and that's what's giving it the weight as well. Maybe there's even a weight inside this itself. The bottom has a nice non-slip plate and it does its job well when it's on the desk. You can press this as hard as you want and it won't move. On the back here, you've got a little button here, a USB-C port, and I believe a little reset hole. Uh, the button is sort of to give it like a little reboot or if there's an update, things like that. And then on the front, you've got your tactile clicky buttons, your dial and another button in the middle. The build quality for me feels fantastic. The buttons do feel a little cheap. I'm not going to lie. The front facing part is the sort of the main feature and that's what feels the cheapest when clicking it. I, it might just be the fact that they are using these sort of Cherry MX clicks. I'm not sure they're very very tactile but it's just the feel of these little sort of the keycaps themselves they are very thin plastic they don't stop from doing the job well it works fantastically it's just for me personally it would have been nice to have a bit more of a heavier button on there because they are so light to click i feel like sometimes i actually go to turn the knob and i misclick and it it does what i've said it to do which we'll get into now what the front facing part actually does so this does come with a multiple amount of functions you can change it to. You can have it open websites, you can have it open software, you can have it set to a certain key. So if you're recording, you can click it and it will capture that moment as like a rewind bit. Save replays in OBS. So if you're live streaming, you want to click and clip something, you can click a button and it will do that for you. So it can be set to any key or any sequence of keys on your keyboard. You can have it set to Colo Light's own features. So turn off your your colo lights in the house or any other thing that's connected to a smart home you might be able to use with this as well there's a crazy amount of stuff on the software that you can download for this on your pc or your mac or whatever you use and then the inside here you've got this nice little screen and basically what this does is have a crazy amount of features you can have it as a clock and you can click it and it will change different clock faces 
you can have it as a YouTube subscribe account. Now, when you do use that, you have to put in your YouTube ID, not just your username. So when you go on your channel, it will come up with an ID, just copy and paste that into the software and it works fantastically. It doesn't do it real time. It's not like every subscriber, it's probably every 100. Obviously, as mine is at 14,300 and now I'm still going up, it's not changing on this. It's staying at 14,300. Then you have inspo, which basically means every time you click the front screen here, it will change to another inspirational quote or a gamer quote. And it, it just gives you that little bit in the morning to click it, have a little read of some quotes to get you boosted, ready for the day. You can have it set to just displaying some different sort of GIFs. I believe you can set your own GIFs on here. So if you have a meme that you want to put on there, go ahead, click a meme on there, whatnot. But it has a crazy amount of features and, you know, it does so much. Now, what I've got it set to is these two bottom ones here. One will open Premiere Pro, one will open Photoshop. The top two here I've got is minimize and maximize my screens. So if I'm in a software, I can minimize the screen, go to another one, maximize the screen and it'll come back up. The scroll wheel is I've left the standard, which is volume down, volume up. And then the click is for mute. Now you do have to have the software playing in the background or in the system tray to have this activated. If you just have this plugged in, all it does is work as a clock or a dial and that's it. It doesn't do any of the features that you've set it to. So there is a good amount of features that you can do with this. It's just a nice little gimmicky thing to have on the desk as well. If you don't really want it to do all of these other features, if you just want it to have it, definitely worth it because just having it on my desk, even though I've got the mute button on my my keyboard i tend to still go for this because it's giving me that that feedback you know i know i've done it where on the keyboard it's like a little knob and you have to fiddle around where this one's quite big it's bulky it's giving me that clunky sort of you've muted you've unmuted you could have it on discord muting mic volume off headphone mute and all of that jazz there's so much you can do with this and so much more that i haven't even spoke about i want you to experience it for yourself as well because that is the main thing about what i do is to to elevate the tech for you guys to go do you know what i like it i want it i'll buy it and then when you find a new feature you'll come back and be like do you know what did you know you can do this and i'll be like i didn't but now i do i like to have the community involved and to express their feelings in the comments of how they felt when using it or the unboxing experience. So that's what I want you guys to do. If you do have this at home, let me know what you use it for and how you've set it up because I'd definitely love to know some new tricks with this thing. I'm still learning myself. That's why I can't really go too much in depth with this. But so far, I'm absolutely loving it. Now, like I said, the only thing that bugs me is these little clicky buttons at the front here. They don't feel too heavy duty compared to the full weight of this bad boy. I mean, it'd be nice to have some extra features as well on there. Maybe some different style sort of counters. So you've got YouTube, maybe some for TikTok, X, Instagram, and things like that. Maybe not just have subscribers, but have options for how many video views, how many likes overall, and things that just sort of round up the whole experience of having a display that displays your stats. But other than that, I feel like this is a perfect piece of tech for any gift ideas. If you've got brothers, sisters, husbands, wives, anyone that likes this sort of cyberpunk feel definitely will fit in your setup and definitely worthwhile so if you want to check out colo play there is a link in the description go and check them out give it some love give this video some love by liking subscribing and like i said comment about what you do with this or what you'd use it for or if you have one what you already use it for and i appreciate colo play for sending this out for me to test review and just own in general because this thing is sick but other than that capture create captivate that's what we've done here today and i'll see you all in the next video